Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I am Christine, mama to three little ones. I post motherhood, parenting content, and homeschool content. Um, today I'm bringing to you a review of the 2020 Mom on the Go Planner. I have been using this planner for the past, I want to say four years now. Um, I My husband bought me my first ever one. Um, as a Christmas present and then since then I've been able to collaborate with the company and they have been gifting me planners since then but I want you to know that this is 100% I wouldn't work with them unless I loved it and I love their planners clearly because my husband bought me one and I've just been in love with them ever since so I wanted to do a review today also stay tuned because there is going to be a giveaway you could there are going to be two of these I'm collaborating with a friend of mine Valerie Plowman um, and we're giving away two of these so if you're interested in winning one then stay tuned to the end of the video because I will share details on how you can enter to get your own I am going to do a flip through of the planner for you. Um, I've done reviews of the planner the past couple of years and they're all on my blog so I'll have those linked below in the description. Um, not a ton has changed in this planner which is a good thing because it has everything you could ever want and more. There are a few minor changes and um, there's just so much in here. I don't use every little aspect of it, but I use a lot of it and then I love that there is just room to make it your own. like. There are areas where you could like bullet journal and areas to keep notes and all that kind of stuff. Basically, it's left up to your imagination. So I'm just going to go ahead and do the flip through now, insert that, and let you decide for yourself whether it is something that you would consider purchasing. Okay, let's do a flip through of this planner. So this year, I noticed a big difference in the packaging that it came in. So this box is new. I do not believe it came in a box like this last year. I think it was just like a regular cardboard box. So this is cute and I really liked it. So here is my planner for 2020. And um, there's fingerprints on it already because my kids were looking at it when I took it out. So that was the box that it came in. And here's the planner. So I think what I'm going to do is flip through most of the sections and then because a lot of the months are the same um, but the ones that have like special sections I'll show them to you. I'm also going to show you my previous two year um, previous planners from the uh, past two years um, because I've hung on to them. I just got rid of my first one which was 2017 um, because I just didn't need it and actually like if you look at the one now compared to then there is they've done some pretty big changes um, mostly with paper quality um, and just different things. I feel like every year has a bit of a different theme and I love it. So this was the cover that I chose this year. And one of the wonderful things about these planners is that the covers are interchangeable. So you can buy different covers for different seasons if you want to and make it your own. So you could do, they've got like Christmas ones. They've got all sorts, like lots and lots and lots of different ones. But they just sort of like clip on and off here. Um, so it's fairly easy to change it out. So let's have a look inside. This is something, I don't think they had this in the original one I got, but they've had it these past two years and now this one. And I love this little vellum sheet that they have on the front. It's so pretty. And you'll just find that the whole planner is full of gorgeous prints. Um, here we go. So I'm going to try and figure out what's different between the years. I will probably go back and show you my other planners as well. But they're fairly similar, this year's one and last year's one. Um, I don't think there's massive changes. One of the changes I noticed uh, is the font that they used on these little bits here on the tabs. The tabs, they're much easier to read. So you get your year at a glance, which is really nice just to flip to when you need to. And then they've got 2021 here as well. Then you've got plan ahead. And I like to do this for um, like if there's weddings or any big events that I know are going to take place, then I like to use this page. Okay, here are birthdays and anniversaries, and they've got every single month there. I hope that the glare is not too bright from the sun, but um, I can zoom in for you a little bit. They've got the different months there, so you can write all your birthdays and anniversaries down there. And then you've got contacts here. And one of the things I love about this planner is that they've got, like, spare pa um, pages here. Some of them have, like, bullets, some of them are grid, and some of them are lined. And they're just really handy for taking notes or recording things or whatever you want. Um, yearly medical appointments they've got in this bit they've got like everything you could think of there's doctor pediatrician OBGYN 
dentist, ortho, optometrist, immunizations, ENT specialist, dermatologist, counselor, and surgery slash other. You've got your healthcare information here, your emergency, your uh, pharmacy information, your prescription medications as well. You can keep track of all of them here. And then you've got symptom tracker, which I really like that. I feel like that's really helpful to have in here. Um, and then another spare sheet of paper. Then you've got your important and handy information. So you've got your professionals, insurance information, um, babysitters, online accounts and subscriptions, and your favorite blogs and websites here. So I feel like some of this is the same and then some of it they have just changed the format a wee bit. And but it's there's so much good stuff in here. And then you've got your thank you cards and gifts. Now I can't remember if it's in this. I think they might have changed this last year. The year before, I'm pretty sure they had this at the end of the planner and now they have it at the front. So I actually prefer having it in the front. And you've got a few of my favorite things. So this is a page all about you, things that you can look back on and remember. Um, so that's kind of fun. You've also got a Bible reading tracker. So you can sort of cross off things as you read them. And then a couple of spare pages there. This is something that I noticed this year and I love it. And it's that they have like this gorgeous metallic like foil um, on a lot of the pages and it's just so beautiful. I've always loved how they have like beautiful quotes and just the artwork that they have on these tabs for the months, but I just love that they added that foil to it. It's beautiful. So then you've got your, every month has this spread on it where it talks about, um, how can I strengthen my relationship with my God? They've got there at the top there, uh, my spouse, my children, friends, family, and neighbors. So that's a nice, way to keep track of things and then you've got your monthly outlook so this is your month calendar and i love to use this just to jot down birthdays and big events i know that are going to take place um just to give me a general outlook you've got a notes column there that you can add things to and then you've got february and march's calendar down there and then you get to your weekly spread and this is a spread i use the most i will show you in my 2019 planner how i've been using that um, and how i'm probably going to use it uh, this next year coming. The one thing I noticed has changed is they used to have um, Remember This. They had that in the 2019 calendar and they don't have that in there. I really love this. I love the concept of bullet journaling, but the reality is I don't have time for it. <laughs> and I feel like this is the best of both worlds because you've got the structure and you've got all the basics down, but you can add to it and personalize it and make it your own. And so I love that about it. So that's what you're going to get every week for your month. And then this, you're also going to have at the end of every month. Um, so you've just got these boxes that you can personalize to be whatever you want. Um, you've got your monthly budget and then you have this, this is another like month view and I really love this. I use this for my blog content planning. Um, it's also great to use for meal planning and you can then, I like to use these boxes to put in any ingredients that I don't typically have in the house um, because then I can add it to my shopping list. So that's a really great way to use that. Um, and then you have just extra boxes here and spare pages, which I just love because I utilize all of this. Uh, in January, you have your new year goals. Um, and this I found really, really helpful both personally and with business as well to just have things to jot down and then look back at it at the end of the year and see how I got on. And it goes over a few pages and then you've got some line pages at the end um february look how gorgeous it is again with the foil it's so pretty same sort of outline now i don't think there's any anything special at the end of february no that's just a standard month but you can see how the pattern changes there um it's beautiful here's another one i think this one might be my favorite it is so beautiful this is all foil up here i'm trying to make sure it shows up on camera you can kind of see it there that's March's. So this is April, again with the beautiful foil, lovely quotes. And we'll skip to the end of April because they have added an Easter section. And when I say added, this is this has been in every planner I've gotten from them, but they always, you know, change things up a little bit, which is lovely. Um, so you've got your to-do list. I love that they've got Easter week down here, so you can sort of write down what you want to do. 
all your meal planning, places to put to-do lists, and that kind of thing. So that's your Easter prep in June. It's beautiful. And June does have a summertime plans um, spread. So you can have your sort of plans over this time, um, goals, your to-do list, that kind of thing. That's kind of fun. Um, I'm in New Zealand, so this doesn't typically apply to me because our summer is over Christmas, so it's totally different. But if you are in the U.S., or basically if you're anywhere where summer is in June, July, then this is going to be great for you. July section is normal, just like the rest, again with the beautiful foil. But then in August, I'll show you the tab for August because, again, so pretty. In August, you're going to find that you have your back-to-school spread. At the end of July, you'll find this. You've got your back-to-school schedule, goals to do, back-to-school shopping list, school info, and extra extracurricular activities, which is so helpful to have it all in one place. And then you move on to September, and I also love this. This is my favorite hymn, and so I love that this was included in this year's planner. And then November, you have a Thanksgiving section. So this is beautiful. I love the quote that they included. And you'll find it's similar to uh, the Easter spread. Okay, so you have your Thanksgiving section here. I love that it's got a place to put down your blessings. You've got meal plan, food shopping list, and that's that for your Thanksgiving. And then you have December. Now, in the original planner, I don't know actually if they had it in the 2018. I need to check. But Christmas has become its own section, which is it was in 2019. And I love that. Um, so December, yeah, the only extra that they have at the end of December is this, your year in review. So I really like to, at the end of every month, write down something that I remember from that month. Um, and then it's really fun to go back and read that at the end of the year. So that's a really fun idea and how to use that. Isn't this so cute? There's like foil down here, metallic. It's so pretty. So this is Christmas section. This is one of my favorite sections in the whole planner because it is just so helpful and I feel like they've really expanded on it um, and just, it's just great. So this is just a cute little uh, spread where you can add basically whatever you want there. They've got this Christmas countdown. Now, I don't know if this is in my 2019. I'll have to have a look in a minute, but I don't remember it, and I think it is so cute. So you could use this in any way you want, but I just think it's fun, and I'm excited to use it next year. Then you have your to-do list, decorations, traditions, meal planning, food shopping list. So that's basically exactly like Thanksgiving, the same spread. And then here you have your Christmas budget, and I feel like this has been expanded. Um... So it really goes into detail and gives you a lot of options for writing down budgeting. And then you've got Christmas gift planning, which is great. Then you've got stocking stuffers, online shopping, more places here to write stuff. Um, extended family. I love how they break this down. So you've got extended family, parents and in-laws, friends, teachers, work and church. It's great for keeping track of gifts and gift ideas. Like I write stuff in here throughout the year that I think of. I don't just leave it right till Christmas time. Um, and it's really helpful to be able to go through and look at it. Um, gift exchange. Then they even added a Black Friday and Cyber Monday section. These were not in here. Um, and then they've got extra space here for more shopping. Then you've got Christmas cards, which is great. Christmas books. So I think this is great because I've just started a homeschooling Christmas unit with my children. And they've got a reading list on there. And I'm planning on buying a couple of those books every year. Because it's the kind of unit you could do year after year. And I think that this will be a great place to record that and ones that I want to get. Um, and then Christmas movies, which is so cute. I love that idea of having it all written down in here so you can have a plan. The last section in the book is home and family. And this is where you will find things like financial management. So you've got debt trackers, um, tithing and donations, um, savings, that kind of thing. Uh, this is where you they will give you um, ideas for preparation. So like emergency preparation, making things you making sure you've got stuff in storage, that kind of stuff. Um, you've got chore charts, that kind of thing in there. I haven't used this a ton. I've used it a little bit. 
I probably will use it more the older my children get, but right now they're all very little, so I keep most of it in my head. <laughs> then you have a couple of pages for planning vacations. Um, I think they used to have just one, and I can't remember which planner, but they used to just have one, and now they have two. You've got family ideals, so this is your family page where you can set up like a mission statement, your goals for your family, traditions and rules, um, all that kind of thing. And then these are perfect for your children. So you can write down your child's name here, their needs, their wants, monthly trackers if you're tracking anything, maybe your child's potty training. Um, if you're an older child, you could keep track of like reading, books they're reading, um, self-esteem, talents and hobbies, friends. So just lots of ways of tr um, keeping track of things. And then you've got uh, birthday plans here. And then I love this. It's got shoe size, pants size, shirt size, allergies love being able to keep track of that and then there's a few more things down here so they have a few of those in here so depending on how many kids you have there's plenty i think there's like five or six and then you have one for you as a couple so you've got needs wants love and respect talents and hobbies intimacy birthday plans date plans anniversary plans again shoe size pant size and then you also have one for yourself um you have like trackers again all of your things um so yeah i love that little page there and then the final bit is actually something i use a lot they've got a little um section here with a pocket on this side and there's also a pocket on this side and i often keep like stickers and decorating things and little notes and stuff that i want to hold on to in here it's really great and then this as well I love it for anything I don't want to get ruined and I want to keep. So like receipts and stuff like that I keep in here and I just love it. It is so, so good. Um, and I've used that like in every single planner I've had. So it's beautiful. I love it. I wish I had kept that original one now to show you. I actually do have it on my channel. I did a review of it then. And like this had like a... A laminated border around it. Um, I will say the one thing I did notice, I'm pretty sure the spiral binding is a bit bigger this year. I'll show you. This is my one from last year. Let's see if I can, let's see if I can get it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's a wee bit of a wider diameter than the one from last year, which means it probably added more pages. Um, and obviously if you're adding stickers and stuff, it starts to bulk up. So they're giving you room for that to happen. So that is the 2020 planner. I'm going to show you, these are my other two. This is my 2018 and that's my 2019, which I'm still currently using, obviously. Um, I would say the paper quality is just as good. Um, it's just lovely. And I, you know, have used it differently every single year and not used it for a certain times then used it other times. Um, I have been pregnant and having babies for the last however long, so my motivation levels have certainly <laughs> gone up and down. You can see there, they have the pocket there. Um, but it's just lovely. And I had the pen holder back then. That's one of the accessories that they offer um, is that, which is really great if you're using it all the time. I basically always have mine at my desk, so I don't need it as much anymore. Um, you can see I kept receipts in that one. So that's 2018. If you're smart... You'll buy ones that don't have the date on the front because then you can keep using these and switch them out all of the time. But yeah, I didn't think about that when I ordered mine. And then this is my one that I'm currently using. I can show you like how I have this week set up. So we're in the final week of November, 2019. And this is my 2019 planner. I'll try and zoom in a little bit for you. Um, and you can just sort of see how I set it up. So I have three kids and my eldest I have started homeschooling. This I got with my original planner I believe and it's still going strong so it's like four years old now or three years old? Three? Four? Well it's three years old. It'll be going into its fourth year now um, but I use that and I strongly suggest getting them. If they're available I don't, I don't think they were available to order last time I checked on the site, but that might just be because they are out of stock. So if you can get your hands on one, I highly recommend it. it they're only like five bucks. They're not very expensive. Um, and they last, you can see it's lasted a long time. This bit is a little bit wonky now, but like I say, it's been several years. Um, so the way I use it for the most part, I have my 
my monthly paper, so I didn't do much in that one. You can see my Christmas one. I've started playing around with that calendar. If I get you in the right section. I've sort of started doodling on there. Um, that's how I like to do my calendars, but then my weekly view is here, and depending on what I'm doing, I sometimes track things up here. I usually just have fun writing stuff in there. I keep my running to-do list for the week there. Then I used to have it morning, afternoon, and evening. Now I have work, school, and home and appointments. So I keep track of work stuff there, which you can see I've got a nice light work week. I keep track of lessons that we're doing with my son there. And then if we've got any appointments or I've got like jobs I need to do around the home, I'll put them there and that's empty, but there are things that I need to put in there. I just haven't done it yet this week. And then I put down our meals for the week um, down here. So it's easy for me to refer to every day. Um, so yeah, that's how I use the weekly spread. I use this bit here to write blog post ideas in. And I don't know if I've written much else in there. Another thing I'll show you back here. Um, here's the pocket and I keep my stickers and stuff in there. And then in here I've got like different things. I think I've got like my contact prescription and things like that. Because when I'm ordering things online, I always have this with me so it just keeps it in a safe place. And then I keep track of like our school lessons and what we've done right here. Um, and anything I might be working on up here. So I love the ability to use it as like a bullet journal, even though it isn't technically one. Um, and then I've got Christmas here, which I don't think I'm going to show you because I've written Christmas present ideas in there and I don't want to spoil anything for anyone. But that's just a little comparison between the two. They're very similar um, in a lot of ways. But just the layout might have changed a little bit. Like, I love this planner and I have absolutely no desire to change to any other kind of planner in the near future because it's just works so well and it's got room for like everything. I never feel like I um, don't have room for stuff. So I hope you enjoyed that and um, yeah, leave questions in the comments. I hope you enjoyed the flip through of the planner. Go ahead and win one for yourself. Go and check out the link in my description below. It's on my Instagram account. My friend Val and I are giving away one of these each. So there's two total to give away. You can pick your cover and it is open worldwide. So go and check that out. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.